To first enter the programming mode, you will need to simultaneously click both the directional buttons located on the One Series module. Next, you will notice that the One Series requests a password. First, click the right directional button to get to the password entry screen. Then you can use the vertical directional button to change the password number values and the right directional button to move to the next password digit. In this case, our password is 0, 0, 0, 0. Once you have entered all four digits, press the right directional button again to accept the password, then press the right directional button again once the screen says OK. The first command that appears on the LCD display is the clear max min command. This command allows you to clear the maximum and minimum recorded process values that the One Series has encountered. If you do not want to clear the maximum and minimum values, then you can click the vertical directional button to get to the set units command. To change the units that appear on the display, you must first click the right directional button. Then you can use the vertical directional button to rotate through the different unit options. These options include PSI, MBAR, KPA, kilograms per centimeter squared, and inches of water column. Finally, click the right directional button again once the display is showing the units you wish to appear. Next, click the vertical directional button to get to the SW command. This is the command used to program your desired set point and deadband for the switch. Now click the right directional button and you will be brought to the switch mode selection screen. You will have six options to choose from. This includes open rise, open fall, close rise, close fall, open window, and close window. In this case, we will choose the open rise command. Click the right directional button, then click the right directional button again once the display reads SP. You can then use the vertical directional button to change set point digit values, then click the right directional button to move on to the next digit. In this case, I will enter a set point value of 5 PSI. Once you have entered the set point you require, then click the right directional button to get to the deadband screen. Click the right directional button again to program your required deadband value. I will set a deadband of 1 PSI for this example. Finally, to save your new set point and deadband values, you must simultaneously click both directional buttons. Next, click the right directional button once the display says Save Changes. Then click the vertical directional button to get to the Yes option. Finally, press both directional buttons simultaneously again to save the new set point and deadband values.